When I came home from prison in 2001, I had a tough time finding a job. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? When you get to that part of the application, your heart starts beating fast, your hands become sweaty. It doesn't matter your education or work experience. That's gonna be the determining factor. What up, what up, what up, what up, what's up, what's up with you? Nothing, man. How you get it, man? Regular military, you got no size. Baby size. Baby size. I would fill out an application and they tell me that they're not hiring, but they got now hiring signs on the window. Did that make you go back to doing some of the things that you were doing before? Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. That, it's kind of like they forced you to. set up. Like, it's, it's like set up. It's systematically set up for you to have to go back. I was three years old when the U.S. Marshals came, beat down the door, and got my dad maybe like five the second time. I just kept asking my mom, like, yo, where's my dad? Where is he at? He would tell my grandmother, I'm not trying to do that no more. I'm trying to get my life right. What up, boy? What's up with your boy? Good to see you, good to see you, man. Being a barber changed my dad. Being able to have a community that he can turn to when he needed something. That helped him a lot. That was a hard moment for me last year. All those ups and downs that you've been through, to look at you now, I am so proud of you. I'm happy to call you my dad, man. What you just said right there is what it was all about. Everything that I've done was for that. Now I can retire, so <laughs> I can retire now. Old man still got it. Ooh. Now that look good, man.